Hello everybody, and welcome to the terror do you, do you like, do you like what you see? <laughs> yeah, that's enough of that. <laughs> uh, welcome. I'm gonna turn the music off. Welcome to the Terror Dome server. If you remember, we put out a trailer and we've done two live streams now. Uh, all for this server, all because, hey, we like the server. <laughs> I, in particular, really enjoy the server. Um, I like running around and playing on it, and the admins and the uh, devs. I adore them. <laughs> they are very fun to play with and very silly. And yeah, so this is kind of my server of choice at the moment. I, I've been really turned away from big public servers. Cause I've had a few horrible experiences on them before, where. Literally, you couldn't even do anything without it being destroyed by others. And on this one, there is actually an anti-griefing sort of plugin that will... Let's roll. I should really cook that. Yeah, there is, like, anti-griefing stuff in place on this server. I know some servers generally have it, but they never really make it that straightforward to kind of... No. But, like, front doors and chests and stuff like that, whenever you place them, they automatically get, um... the hell did he get hit by? Is he drowning? Oh. Well, okay. Fair. <laughs> yeah, um... Like, literally everything I would, uh, would build would automatically get griefed. And on this server we managed to build these wonderful things, and the devs kind of... Uh, oh, the, the dev really basically came along and showed us how to... Well, he kind of did everything for us. And, um... Yeah, this is our little clan area. That's kind of the monstrosity I built. And this is the wonderful works of Hannah's amazing building abilities. Let me get rid of that block. Stupid Enderman. On that one. Anyway. So, yeah, there's plenty of anti griefing sort of stuff. Now, there are plugins, uh, which I'm going to go to spawn right now. Uh, this is the Icarus or the Terradome RP server. Icarus, basically. Um, and yeah, uh, this server kind of runs off basically a few specific. Can I actually play server now? No, for not. <laughs> yeah, we got rules. There's uh, no logging out or teleporting out of combat. No foul language. No typing in all caps. And no excessive griefing. Now it says excessive because, <coughs> like, it's a role-playing server, so. If you end up going to war with another guild and they basically destroy your guild because you haven't protected your buildings, then yeah, they're free game to do that. But if literally they're destroying your buildings every five seconds, then it's excessive griefing. So they're breaking the rules. Oh, and respect all, especially staff. Remember that one. <laughs> and this is the list of the staff. You have to register. As soon as you... Um, yeah, when, as soon as you spawn, you become a guest. Guests cannot switch classes, join towns. To become a register, or regular, you need to register on the website, which I'll plonk up in an annotation in case... You can't really see it on that sign. You should be able to, but... And just to make sure... <laughs> uh, the ranks are as follows. Guest, Registered, Regular, Faithful, Chosen, Harbin Harbinger. Which I'm none of them. 
I'm a caster. Look. Uh, video showing off stuff. Blank this. KK GG. Thanks. <laughs> so yeah, you see that it's got caster. And above the guy above me's got guest and below me's got guest. There's faithful and there's that black kind of text at the front. And there's the shaman. And on the front of mine it had a clog. <laughs> which is Kellogg's, obviously. Um and here's the ooh, the staff ranks. Which is trial mod, train mod, mod, vet mod, zen mod, admin. Head admins are on this server is Studmaster, which Studmaster I think is he the dev? No, he's not. He's the head admin. Um he was the guy who actually got in contact with me originally, so I know him best. I think it's Studmaster. It is Studmaster. And the server head developer is Slub God. Who yeah. I don't, I'm not sure if I've met him yet. I probably have at some point. Sorry if I haven't. I've completely forgotten. Sorry. <laughs> um, this server uses the plugin Heroes. Uh, restorate economy, treasure hunt. I'm not going to even pretend that I can read some of these words. <laughs> Uh, detailed description of all these plugins and their commands can be found on the Teradome website. Although, we'll cover the basics here. So this is like, yeah, you know, when you spawn you go through here. So this is the Heroes mod. This is, without a doubt, the most active plugin on the server. And there's one of the, uh, I think, is he a mod? Yeah, he's a mod. Drake, over there. <coughs> he's been AFK for quite some time. He's this is the second take I've done, and he's been there the entire time. <laughs> In order to choose a new class, you must first be registered on the website. Obviously, uh, once you have registered, or once you have the registered rank, you can then change classes by typing "Hero Choose Class Name." The list is available. Oh, the to list the available classes, type "Hero Paths." The starting tier 1 classes are Barbarian, Pickpocket, Magician, and med Medicine Man. So I'm going to put Heroes, Hero Paths, and you can see it there. Magician, Basic, Smith, which I think is a profession, Pickpocket, and that's the one you start off as. Everyone start off as that class. There's nothing really unique to them. Um, you can't really level up or do much with them. Um, these classes also affect your gear and what items you can run around with. So, kind of picking what you want to play as. It gives you perks, but it also takes stuff away. So it kind of works on a balancing system. Which is, you know, good, basically. <laughs> um, to see the skills class, well, the skills for your class, type hero skills, green skills you can use, red you cannot. So let's have a look at mine. I'm a barbarian, level 16. So, uh, hero skill. Ah, okay. So it's just. Okay, so that might need changing, but uh, <laughs> it's skills. Yeah, okay. So I can charge. You charge towards your target, which is just the sprint and attack. And it does the whole knockback thing. That's what charge does. Bandage. Bandage is your target restoring. Five health. Yeah. Shield, you are able to use doors as shields. 
Two exorbs damage. So if you're holding a door in your hand, I think that's how it works. <laughs> Basher um, <coughs> is a passive ability. You have a 10% chance to stun for one second on attack. Now that actually came very handy during the PvP match I had with the mods. Uh, and I went on to win that, which I'm shocked at because I've never won a PvP match in my entire life. <laughs> um, and I won that one, so yeah, I was very made up of that. So I've got all these enchants weapons. Um, once I hit 21, I get a passive 20% chance to do twice the amount of damage. Okay, and the max level is, if I can remember correctly, 25. Yes. For a tier 1. And then you can go into professional. Which gives you more stuff, I think. Uh, Residence is the basic anti grief plugin on this server. You can only protect a certain area with it. Guests, none. So if you're a guest, you can't protect your house. A registered. Um, you have a 10 by 10 area radius, so 10 blocks by 10. And that can that will be your area to build in. A regular has a 20 by 20 area. A faithful has a 30 by 30, and a chosen has a 40 by 40. I think that will probably be a harbinger rather than chosen. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but you can always look that up. There's an enderman around here. To protect an area, to protect the area, select the area with a wooden axe. Type res, create res name. Remember to set or to select how high and how low you want it, otherwise all of it won't be protected. So you can have it straight up to the uh, top of the dome and all the way down to bedrock and in this sort of radius and no one else can remove or add blocks in that area bar you um, LWC allows you to protect chests and doors which happens automatically as soon as you place them economy allows you to use money purchasing things check your balance type money forward slash money which I have a lot of money I've got $222 48 cents, I'm presuming it's American dollars. <laughs> um, that, I got that from Dungeoneering, which you can find random dungeons, and as you kill mobs inside, not only do you get XP, but you also get... Uh, sort of money for it, I guess. They're like, mobs are uh, worth certain amounts of it. Chest shops allow you to buy and sell items you need to be registered to create chest shops. Okay, uh, treasure hunt. Uh, you need a map and you left click with your map and it tells you how many blocks away you are. Uh, you get some really good items out of them. You get some really naff ones but you can, it's all sort of just, if you've got nothing better to do you can go chase down a chest. Why not? Get some free stuff. Might get an enchant. Uh, uh, there are several area extra <coughs> features that can be purchased with Democrats to see what you can buy. Go to forward slash warp rankstone. Democrats can be purchased on the website. Oh, my throat's starting to go. <laughs> um, these extra features include virtual chests, hero classes, Protection stones, clans, block hat, and more. Which they're extra plugins. He was actually telling me the reason why. So he's probably like, oh, everything's not free. Oh, I don't, I'm not interested. Okay, he was actually like, when I spoke to uh, Anthony, and I think he's Studmaster on Minecraft. I'm sure he's Studmaster. Yeah, he's Optimus Prime, isn't he? <laughs> That's his skin. Um. <coughs> God, my throat's really going now. Uh, he was showing us around. Uh, he was telling us as well that um, 
the whole reason why is because like this server is actually quite a hefty amount of money to run. I think it cost him like six hundred and fifty seven US dollars a month to kind of keep all this running. Um, so yeah, that's kind of why he's got the whole money system. He's not forcing you into doing it. I mean, let's be honest, you're not going to set up a clan. Oh. Oh god. Okay. Oh my god. Let me through. <laughs> um, so let's be honest. Let's have a look at this. Hero classes, if you're not going to be a regular player on this, then you're probably never going to spend any money. Uh, but if you're really, really, you know, constantly coming on the server and really enjoying it, it's sort of like the free-to-play business model. If you're really enjoying the service, then you may feel like, you know, you should throw a bit of money its way. I have got no problem with free-to-play. It's kind of how this is works. Um, so you got hero classes, um, precious stones, clans. Like, you're not going to set up a clan unless you're a regular player. So, yeah. That's kind of... I wouldn't see this as a bad thing, the whole money purchase thing. I know it might sound bad, and as soon as you've probably heard it, you'd be like, I'm not paying money, but there's logic. And it's it's just basically free-to-play. It's a free-to-play business model. So, yeah, you, know, you can't really complain with that. The end. Uh, there's... Oh, I should... Oh, that was kind of bad. So you got... The time is around... 600 BC, you are in ancient Greece. The gods are having a war! Because there's always war. <laughs> uh, they need your help. Uh, choose your god to follow, Poseidon, Hades, and here, and Hidibidibus. <laughs> I don't know ancient Greek names, okay? I'm really. <sighs> choose your settlement you wish to live in. Athens, Atlantis, Sparta, and Corfin. Choose your god, choose your settlement, and become the champion of the gods. This is a role-playing server, so there's always going to be a backstory. Okay, so once you've done all of this, you know, you come through here. You can go to the wilderness, or any of the four sort of areas that have settlements. Or you can take the easy way out. Which is through here. And let me tell you the easy way out has this. <laughs> which is kind of the server logo. Now, when I first came on here, that this was kind of all just a griefed mess. But I've really tidied the place up a hell of a lot. Um. There was a. There's not that many people who built that close to here. I think it's just general, though, that happens. You don't get people building so close to spawn. Because of griefers. But if you've read all of that, which I've just. I've just read it all for you, so you have no excuse. Then, literally, there's nothing stopping you from finding how far the devs have put the spawn area out to and just building a settlement there. Nothing stopping you. <laughs> as long as you know what you're doing. Um, 